Hi, my name is Mike Wagner. I'm with Airy Lighting, and we're here at NAB 2018 to kind of show you a few of the new things uh, from the lighting side at the Airy booth. Um, so this year we uh, announced a new firmware update. This is the fourth major update uh, to the firmware since the launch of the Sky Panel about three years ago. So we had version 2.0, 2.5, 3, and now firmware 4. And with firmware 4, it's all about control. It's about giving more control to our customers in regard to selecting colors uh, through DMX and a lot of other ways. Uh, we've got 10 features packed into firmware 4 uh, that are really amazing. So I'd like to talk to you and show them to you today. The first one is what we call extended color control. So extended color control allows you to pick a color in any way that you want, whether it be an HSI value, RGBW, a gel, and then it allows you to take that color and push and pull it uh, around the color gamut with eight very intuitive and human parameters uh, that make it very easy to customize the color. So for example, uh, you could pick a color, let's say around here, and I could go into extended color mode and I could make this color warmer or I can make it cooler. I can uh, saturate and desaturate this color very easily. I could go over and say, uh, maybe there's a little bit too much green in here. I could remove some of the green. Or perhaps I want more yellow in here. I could add a little bit of yellow. So the eight parameters are warmer, cooler, uh, saturate, desaturate, plus or minus red, plus or minus green, blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow. So it's really easy, you know, if the color is just not quite perfect, you could push and pull it in any direction and get to a very personalized color in just a few seconds. So instead of trying to figure out, you know, if you're in RGBW, how do I get the light to be warmer? You know, it's kind of difficult to think about how to do that. Uh, the light will do all of the math and all of the thinking for you, and all you have to do is change one parameter. So it's sim super simple to use. One of the other features is light engine control. So in all of our sky panels, we have one or more light engines uh, that power the light coming out of the fixture. Um, the S120 has four light engines, while the S60 has two, and the S360 has 12 light engines. And with light engine control through DMX, you can now control these light engines all separately and individually, and that will allow you to create a lot of uh, really cool programming. You could uh, have effects running over the surface of them, you could pixel map the sky panels and run video content over them. So this puts a lot more control into the hands of the DMX programmer. Uh, of course, uh, in firmware 3.0, we announced uh, a few, uh, 12 lighting effects programmed into every sky panel. And with firmware 4, we're adding four new effects to the software. Um, so those uh, include uh, explosion. So you can see here, I'll, I'll turn up the intensity a little bit. You could have a very fast uh, flash of light, and I could trigger this just by pushing the encoder on the control panel. Or I could change the decay of the explosion and have it fade out a lot more gradually. Um, so this is all trigger. You can trigger it again through the onboard controller or through DMX as well. Fluorescent flicker. So here I could uh, have a, the uh, effect of a malfunctioning fluorescent ballast have that intermittent on and off, and there's even a, uh, a buzz effect programmed in there that will kind of look like a, a 50 hertz buzz as if there's um, a bad connection to the cable. And there it is there. Um, the next one, the third effect that we've added is called process effect. And so process effect mimics the, uh, uh, the effect of a street light passing over a car. So as, as, as if you're driving down the street, uh, you want to have that illusion of motion if the car is stationary. And so you could use this effect and have the light uh, appear as it's passing overhead. So really interesting, you could adjust the speed here so I can make it look as if the car is going much faster. I could also change the direction if I wanted to make it go from left to right or, or uh, right to left. You could change that very easily. And of course with all of these effects, I could set the color to be whatever color that you want. And then the last effect is called welding. So with welding, we have two parameters. We have a speed parameter, and we have a minimum value. So I could have a kind of a base uh, intensity here, and then I could adjust the speed of that of the flashes. 
So those are the four new effects. We have a bunch of other features programmed in here as well, uh, including a stage mode, which is a mode that gives really beautiful dimming out to zero. And that's really meant for uh, live audiences, uh, but not for motion picture capture. We also have a, uh, an ultimate DMX mode. And in ultimate DMX mode, uh, we have all of the different ways of selecting color in one DMX mode now. So if you want to go from color temperature to lighting effects, or to gels, or to source matching, uh, instead of having to change your DMX mode and, and repatch your board and you know, uh, change your DMX footprint, it's now all in one DMX mode, so it makes it really easy to use. We have a whole bunch of other features, including a new web portal. So the new web portal, basically if you have an ethernet connection to the fixture through either an ethernet plug or you, you put a Wi-Fi router on there, the sky panel actually generates a web page uh, and this, we've completely redesigned this so that the web page is really easy to use. You can control all of the different color parameters uh, through the web page, all of the different fixture settings, all in one place. Beautiful design, easy to navigate, uh, really useful tool, especially if you have a small amount of sky panels. So if you want to check out our, our other features in Firmware 4, you can go to our website. Uh, that's www.airy.com slash skypanelfirmware4. And we also have a free download of this firmware available now as a beta version. And the final version is going to be available on April 20th. So please check that out on our website and thanks for joining us.